So you're probably wondering where I am. Hold on, I'll just make myself visible. So here we are. Another morning. So we're going to head round that way, I think, today. We're going to go and do a few pots, then we're going to go fishing. We're going to fish further down, some old Mark place to fish. I haven't caught much there in the last few years. The fishing is very slack at the moment. Um, popped out yesterday, might have seen it, don't know. Um, caught about three mackerel, but I didn't really try for that long. So, um, we'll see. I mean, we've just got to hit the right area, that's all. It's all about looking and finding the fish. So let's get going. Let's chat, more action. I know the, I put it near the big rock, the one that sticks out. And it is indeed near the big rock. I'm just going to swing back a bit, make sure we time to pull away from the rock in case it's too shallow. So maybe that fish we had yesterday, or that lobster we had yesterday, was the one that lived under the rock. Very likely. Well, we'll move it slightly, we'll come away from this rock. We do little spiders, tiny little things. Very spiky, they go right through the gloves, those things. And that spider could have gone through the net. crabs in here, spider crabs, we must have caught a bream and the spider crabs killed it because look it's just a head left unless the Kong has been in there but I didn't put bream in this pot that's for sure I didn't have any bream so that must have got killed in the pot and it was only put down yesterday interesting interesting Take that under the band send a little bit of bait but it will do that's the spot, he says. If we can get our ropes, because with this wind we might end up 
to get them stuck on the rock over there, but never mind. We will change eventually. Okay, let's go. Get out of here. That's the size limit. What do you think? These have the potential to grow to like 20 pounds or something ridiculous. It's crazy, yeah? Absolutely crazy. I mean, you'll get half a sandwich out of that. Messed up by the fine weather. <laughs> or so they say, the fine weather. Oh, yeah. It's not necessarily rough, but it will do later when the tide gets up. So, as you can see, I like fish. I've got pollock in here and I've got mackerel in here. Um, I'm just actually going to have a bit of mackerel for lunch. A bit of mackerel in there, take those two bits out. Just want to fill it up. 
I caught it yesterday, put it in the bowl. And the pollock will be to not for tonight. You can see it's in there. It's got a bit of salt, a bit of salt, pepper, a few herbs. And on it. And this was caught yesterday. And like I said, I'm just going to flatter up these and then pan fry them. What you do is roll them in flour. Make sure they haven't missed any bones, like that one on the fin. Nothing worse than getting bones in your fish. Or in your fillets. There you go, that's it. I'll just chop those in the pan, it will be good. People have asked why I always put them face down first. It stops them curling. You put them face down like that, then you flip them over after a couple of minutes, well not a couple of minutes, a few seconds, it stops the fish curling up. If you put it in the other way, they tend to want to curl up or curl to the side and you don't get a good cook on them. Another way is to um, put knife cuts in the fish. But it's Another one who smells the fish. Hey. Yeah. You're not as keen as fish cat though, are you? But she has her moments. Yeah, that's the camera. You are on film. And there you go. That's the beauty of mackerel. It doesn't need to be complicated.